well, I, I think when you think of economics as a science, it, it's, it's less particularly oriented uh, to a world in which you can draw a clear line between a particular action and a particular result. So if you think of an area where I think the idea of liability would apply very precisely, um, the, the engineering of bridges. Um, if somebody builds a bridge that collapses quickly, um, they've made a mistake um, and they should be liable for that. And uh, it's indeed a criminal mistake. Um, with any kind of economic interaction, uh, there are so many different impulses and decisions that flow into the making of the outcome uh, that it's really very, very hard to say one person designed this system and should be accountable for this. And you know, particularly when we're thinking about bad times in economics and crises and disruptions and challenges, um, there aren't very good options. And the question is often about choosing between quite unpleasant options. And so the outcome uh, often looks, looks uh, uh, quite bad. You know, I, I started off my career um, working on the German depression in the interwar period. And uh, that was often used as a textbook example of a mistaken economic policy. Uh, that the chancellor at the end of the brief experiment in democracy in Weimar Germany, uh, Heinrich Brüning, um, had this policy of trying to do uh, fiscal austerity um, and uh, it, keep into the uh, fixed exchange rate. Um, and uh, in, in the late 1930s, it became uh, very, very fashionable to say this, this was a terrible mistake. But actually, when you start to look into the details, um, almost anything he could have done would have been pretty terrible. If he hadn't done the fiscal austerity, there would have been a more immediate banking collapse. Um, if he'd uh, broken the ex a commitment to the fixed exchange rate system, it would have been a violation of the treaties and there would have been French uh, soldiers coming into Germany. And so it looked as if this chancellor, Heinrich Brunig, had very much less in the way of a room for manoeuvre uh, than his critics uh, subsequently thought. And so I, you know, I would find it hard to say Brunig is responsible for the collapse of the Banner Republic. Uh, you know, if you're looking for the collapse, you need to think of things that happened a long time before and really really multiple interactions. And, you know, similarly, I, I, I think it's hard to say um, that one policymaker is responsible for the 2008 financial crisis. Uh, it, it, it's it's uh, a question of a mass series of interactions and innovations and um, unforeseen events. So, um, I, 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 I do see the point that you're trying to get at, um, that we're often surprised uh, that nobody is responsible for things that go very, very badly wrong. Um, but on the other hand, the, the kind of mechanism that you have in the case of a collapsing bridge simply isn't there in the case of a collapsing economy.